In other news now, it's a big day at the NBC6 studios in Texarkana, Texas. Community leaders and locals help us celebrate our new studio. NBC6's Jackie Jovic joins us now sharing more on today's big celebration. Hi, Jack. Dan, you know this is a very big day for the NBC6 family. Our slogan is local news that matters, and you can't get much more local than dedicating a studio, staff, and resources to covering the Texarkana region. Now, about an hour ago, community leaders joined our general manager, Mark McKay, and our Texarkana First News anchor, Heather Wright, for the ribbon cutting and dedication. Texarkana First News made its debut in the spring of 2016. It relaunched from the Texarkana studio in fall of 2019, and then underwent renovations this summer, and here we are today. Now, our general manager, Mark McKay, joins us now to talk a little bit more about this. Now, Mark, this really has been your baby. You grew up in Ashdown. You started your career here in Texarkana with KTAL. What does it mean to have this come to fruition? It's really exciting. Pretty fulfilling to be able to relaunch a, a studio here and state of the art. You know, we, we have we have the beautiful studio that you and Dan and we have in Shreveport that we use, and this is not quite that big or that fancy, but it's it, it's very similar in look and feel and the technology behind it uh, probably didn't exist three or four years ago. In order for us to yeah you know, really do all of the things we can do here and tell stories, because that's really what it's about is telling stories about the folks in the four states region and Texarkana, Arkansas, Texarkana, Texas. That's what it's uh, that's what this is all about. And you really have made a commitment to this area. You have three staff members here in this beautiful studio and the technology. What went into this renovation? Well, we, we had to really start from ground zero, and we went to the bare walls, and it was right during uh, when COVID hit. So it really kind of made a good time for us to redo everything. And uh, the, the staff members, we were able to rejuggle uh, because here we don't have, uh, uh, nobody else does what we do. You know, there's nobody else that does a full 30-minute newscast now hosted from Texarkana. And it's an underserved market, and we're just we're thrilled to be able to do that. Okay, so this is like asking someone who's just won a championship game, what's next? I need to give you a little bit of time to enjoy this moment, but what's next for this area? Well, we have to tell more stories. We have to get more people to engaged with the newscast. One of the things that we are excited is we, we now have a really nice looking interview set that Heather can interview newsmakers. We're going to call it Texarkana Newsmakers. And so it, it runs the gamut from, you know, the, the chamber president to the two mayors that are in town or at the outlying cities, any, any civic organizations. I mean, this really is a full fledged newscast in a town of 125 thousand people. I mean, it really deserves to have its own its own newscast, and we're excited that we can do that. Yeah, and I'm proud to be a part of this organization that has such a commitment to the community. Thank you so much, Mark. And you, of course, can watch Texarkana First News every evening at 5.30 on V45. Dan? Purely covering news in the Arklatex. Good to see you. Jackie, thanks so much for that.